focus on getting GDP right, you should focus on getting, first of all, the number of households plus their consumption growth rate right. That's one way to count GDP, count all the houses and the consumption by, by home. Um, so what, what you're really going to figure out quickly is that the spending by age bracket or by cohort, 35 to 54 year olds, matters a lot more than any other group of people that are living in households. So actually, I think that's on yeah, the next chart. Uh, the next chart, you can see that. See that? See that big bump up in consumer spending when you get a job and you're, or you're, you've had a job and you get paid more at your job? We have 6% uh, income growth in this country right now, don't forget. Uh, but again, 35 to 54 year old, watch that bucket. And then you go back to the slide before Josephine, you can see that the US has actually just traversed its peak of a headwind. It traversed its peak of a headwind. In other words, it's just hit its low, lowest point of a deceleration in the 35 year old to 54 year old bucket. Whereas these poor people in Japan and the Eurozone are about to decelerate further and further and further. That's like reason number one to, I don't know why so many people like to start these one idea funds these days and they rarely work, but one that could work for a long time just using one chart. I don't know what I'd charge for that, but uh, maybe I'd charge four and 40. Uh, long the dollar against short the Euro and the yen. Long term, just lock it up. 